why this desert is desert is not because of water shortage per se but it is because of water shortage in april and may when natural glaciers don't melt super artificial glaciers uh, what we attempt is to freeze water in winter mm -hmm. when nobody needs and still a stream flows okay goes into the indus goes into the arabian sea yes. is not useful anybody <laughs> yeah useful for anybody mm. so we pipe the water from those streams okay. way up in the valley yeah okay. uh, for this one mm -hmm. it's 2.3 kilometers away okay. and stick 60 meters above Okay. So it's upstream and away, yeah. Or we bring the water downstream and on the desert yes. where we want yes. to uh, plant trees. Yes. So in December, January, February, mm -hmm. when there's still water in the stream, but nobody needs it, the piped water is brought downstream, and it's very simple high school science. <laughs> that water wants to maintain its level yes. in a pipe yes. yeah so that's 60 meter high here in the pipe water will want to go to that height yes want to there is yeah. a pressure to go to that yes. height yes so we take advantage of that and put a fountain at the tip here okay okay, okay. now there is pressure there is a fountain so water will be splashed into the air huh? mm -hmm. into the minus 20 air which is very cold yeah mm -hmm. so you would also wonder why uh, water doesn't freeze uh, yeah because in this temperature pipe. yes so temperature is minus yeah. 20 and the water in the pipe should remain above zero yes. otherwise it will freeze right in the pipe and no fountain yes. will so work so how does it flow yes so what we do is we bring the pipe underground underground roughly 4 feet and below nothing freezes so it's below the frost line of the area Yeah? I see. Okay. So when you bring the pipe underground, it's just above freezing point, mm -hmm. just above, about to freeze, mm -hmm. but not frozen. Therefore, we can use the properties of liquid, yeah, of oh, water, yeah. liquid properties of water, and make it flow itself, yeah, mm -hmm. and then make it rise and splash into the air, yeah, mm -hmm. spray into the mm -hmm. air, mm -hmm. and there it loses that critical heat that keeps it liquid, which Got is it. called latent heat. Got it. High school science, yeah. Yes. So it loses its latent heat in the minus 20 air and then when it falls down because it has lost that critical heat it freezes yes it freezes 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 and slowly it takes the shape of a cone that's natural when water falls trickles in yes. drops or in a fountain yes. it uh, naturally takes the shape of a cone mm -hmm. a big cone mm -hmm. and cone is one shape in geometry one of the shapes mm. that has minimal surface area True. for the given volume yes. huh? spheres hemispheres more practically yes. and cones have minimal surface area for the volume mm. and that makes it last late into the spring or almost summer right because of this conical shape the ice stays till april may june wow. when every other all other flat ice on the ground is yeah. gone yeah. this one stays for example this is now mid june this is still yeah. remains of the ice stupas yeah. and uh, it has gone but that's the purpose yeah it was 80 feet tall this this thing this was, thing 80, was feet. 80 feet tall yes and now it is like 15 feet but that's now mid june it should be actually now gone and it has lasted longer than what we expected so True. every day as it melts in may june april it's giving its water uh, to the trees down below as we'll go and see in the winter we make first a tunnel of this 
uh, shape with metal and plastic and there is a dome inside which is now restricted and then with that dome we control the making of it you know it. add pipes to rise and rise as the ice forms mm. so mm. that's the making of it mm. right now it's morning mm -hmm. so the ice is not melting sure if you come here at Two, after mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. then there will be a small rivulet flowing yeah, okay. as the ice melts okay. and then it's so designed that it will all collect here, water okay. Okay. will all collect here and from here into the tank. Mm, it has been used for watering and at like afternoon it will still be filling and then somebody uses. So from here there is a drip irrigation system. Huh? Ah. This pipeline goes all the way to the bottom. Okay. So there is a um, sort of a spine okay. yeah, and okay. then ribs. The so only thing that's stopping that desert mm. from becoming green yeah. is not water per se. It's mm. the water in April, May. Because June onwards there is water but that's too late for, uh, yes. you know, it's too late in the summer. Yes. No plants can survive yes, till with then. water yeah. only in June. Yeah. They need it in April, May yes. when they wake up. Yes. So that's what we are trying to give with the ice. So giving them the water when they need it the yes. most. Yes. yes. The and key. then t giving them later also, but from the streams that flow naturally. So there are two projects. That's why this pipe, hmm. to scale it up. Hmm. We wanted to see how it works and okay. then only scale it up. So now that this, these trees have been doing well for three years, mm -hmm. So the pipeline lines are being laid and we are seeking support mm -hmm. to further green the desert yes. uh, for the university and for the people. And we are also doing various glaciation projects high up in the valley, in the Phyang Valley, near towards the glacier itself. So that uh, all winter water in the stream can be frozen and then it will melt in April, May and enhance the stream flow itself, it. which will be good for the villages also. This one is on the desert, yes. a pilot, yes. but doing it in the valley yes. will help all the farmers. But this really looks amazing and yeah. uh, that's that's waiting to be yeah. done. Yes. You know, it, I can only imagine green. Uh, <laughs> yes, because <laughs> if 5,000 trees can be done, why not? 50,000, 50, why not 5 lakh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as there is, the, the limit for greening is not the land, sure. it's the water that flows in winter. Yes. If yeah. all of that is frozen, then much of it will be green.